Hi everyone, welcome to Greekish Outdoors. Today I'm in my office and I'm going to show you how to make a simple canvas bag. So, stick around. Right, so what we're going to need for this is our cotton or canvas piece. I bought this piece from Ikea. It was meant to be a placemat. All I did, fold it in half, cut down the lengthways in the middle to leave two separate pieces, one of which we're gonna to use today. We need some scissors, a needle. I'm using some brown wax thread for the sewing. We've got some eyelets and the device for pressing the eyelets in. I've got some hemp twine and also a hole puncher. So right, so first of all, we're gonna sew it from the inside out. So we're just gonna line it up and we're gonna sew it all the way down this seam, all the way down that seam, and then we're gonna turn it inside out for the finishing touches. Let's get our needle and thread. And what I'm gonna do on the end of the thread is just tie a little knot So I'm going to start at the top here and work my way down. So on the thicker parts, do be careful. You know, get jabbed with the needle. As I pull this through, I'm actually going to pass the needle again through this loop. Which will create a little knot on there. If you want to use a thimble, you can. Again, I'm just going to pass it through the loop to get that knot. It's really important, especially at the top of the bag, for it to be very secure. You don't want the seat, the stitch coming open and spoiling our bag. going to work all the way down this seam. Right, so that's one side done. Let's finish on the other. So there you can see each side has been sewn. Let's turn it inside out. Do this fairly carefully if possible. We don't want to pull any stitches by forcing it. And there we have the basic bag. Now we need to add a little strap, which is uh, up to you of course, but I'm going to add a little leather 
strap which will go on there and then we will add our eyelets across here so we can thread our hemp cordage through that. I'm just going to use a, some off cuts of a piece of leather I made into something else. Probably that strip there will probably cut that into a rectangular piece and then stitch it on on the side there. Now I'm going to tidy that bit up and we'll sew it onto the corner. Take a bit more of our waxed cord. This time we're not going to go over the top, we're going to come straight back through. One last stitch into the end. And then at the back, we will do a little knot to keep the stitch in place. that off on both sides make it a little bit neater and as you there is our little strap on the edge of the bag right now what we need to do is puncture the holes across there and put our eyelets in we need to decide which size gauge we're going to use. So we'll just check with the actual thread. So 4.5 is okay. Could we push it to a 4? Yeah. There we go. Let's start from the back. five. I'll repeat that on the other side. Right, now you can see that our holes have been pushed through on both sides. We'll put the eyelets in. There's two sides to the eyelet. One is just a ring and one is like a little rivet. So we take our tool. So our rivet should just go through there on one side like so, then place the eye like so, we line them up and then squeeze the tool tightly and there you have it, your first eyelet is done Right, I'll finish those off and bring you back. And there we have all our eyelets in there. Making it a little bit neater and jazzier. Now let's use our hemp cord to thread it through. So first, we're going to thread it through our back eyelets. Now, having these eyelets like this makes it so much easier than just when you puncture a normal hole through. Sometimes the end of the cordage can get a little bit frayed. So our back loops are threaded. Then, one side at a time, we go in, 
go out, go in, and then finally out again. Repeat that on the other side, and there we are. Our cordage is threaded through there. Now we need either a bead or some a piece of wood which we can put a hole in. You can actually just tie a simple knot like this and tighten it up. Now I have lots of these pieces of wooden dowel from previous flat pack furniture which I didn't use. So we're going to make a little toggle out of each of these. But we are going to need to drill a hole through the center of each one. So you could do this a more traditional way using a hand tool. I'm using what I have got here in my office, which is electric drill. So you can clamp this, of course, to be a little bit safer, but if you, as long as you hold on tight to the actual dowling, it should be okay. And there we have it. We have one toggle made. On to the next one. And there we have a second one. Right, now we have our two toggles ready to thread our cord through. You can sand these, varnish them, paint them, whatever you want to do. I'm doing a bit more of a rustic style. So we just take our cord, we thread it through. The end. So we're going to put the toggle to the end there and then tie a knot just after this because we, this is the basically the maximum we want the bag to open. So I'm just doing a simple knot. Like so. Pull that really tight like that and you can just snip that off same thing for the next one just thread it through put it to the end simple knot to tie it on so it doesn't fall off so there we have our toggles in place now all we need to do is just hold these two parts here and with the two toggles just tighten it up and do a simple overhand knot and your bag is tightened up. So there is our simple canvas bag which you can use to store up either dried food or you can use it for foraging there we go so I think it's quite a nice simple bag you've got your little leather handle you can use that to um, hook it to your belt so I hope you enjoyed that short video of making a simple canvas bag if you did like it please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel thanks very much for watching take care much love see you next time